If your car's been guzzling more fuel than usual, idling rough, or just doesn't feel as responsive as it used to your map sensor could be the hidden culprit. The map sensor, or manifold absolute pressure sensor, plays a crucial role in your engine's performance, and when it gets dirty, your fuel economy can take a serious hit. But here's the good news. You don't need to remove it or take your car to a shop to fix the problem. In this video, I'll show you two fast and easy ways to clean your map sensor without removing it, using basic tools and products you can get at any auto store. It's quick, it's cheap, and best of all, you can do it yourself even if you've never touched your engine before. What does a map sensor do? Let's start with the basics. What is a map sensor, and why does it matter? The map sensor monitors the pressure inside your engine's intake manifold. This pressure reading tells the engine control unit how much air is coming in, which allows it to adjust the fuel mixture accordingly. A clean, functioning MAP sensor helps your engine run efficiently by keeping the air-fuel ratio balanced. But when the sensor gets dirty or coated in carbon or oil residue, it starts sending incorrect readings. That means your engine might inject too much or too little fuel leading to poor fuel economy, hesitation, sluggish acceleration, and even stalling in some cases. The MAP sensor is usually located on or near the intake manifold. In most vehicles, it's held in place with a simple clip or a couple of screws, but we're not even going to bother with that today. Because both cleaning methods I'm about to show you can be done without removing the sensor at all, which makes this one of the easiest engine maintenance tasks out there. Method number one, clean through the intake with MapSafe Cleaner. The first and fastest method involves using a sensor-safe spray cleaner designed specifically for intake and MAP sensors. These cleaners are made to be sprayed directly into the intake airstream while the engine is running. They're non-corrosive and evaporate quickly, so you don't need to worry about damaging sensitive components. To do this, all you need to do is locate your air intake, usually where the air filter connects to the intake manifold. With the engine running, you spray the cleaner into the intake in short bursts. The cleaner travels through the intake piping, enters the manifold, and comes into contact with the MAP sensor and surrounding components. This helps dissolve oil vapors, fuel residue, and light carbon deposits that build up over time. You may notice the engine bogs slightly or change tone while spraying. That's normal. It just means the cleaner is being sucked in and doing its job. After spraying for a few seconds, let the engine idle for a minute or two, then take it for a quick drive to blow out the loosened gunk. That's it. No tools, no sensor removal, no mess. This method is ideal for routine maintenance or if your sensor is just starting to act up. It takes less than 10 minutes, and in many cases, you'll feel an improvement almost immediately, smoother idling, better throttle response, and maybe even a bump in MPG. Method number two, clean using the vacuum line trick. The second method is just as easy but slightly more direct. If your intake system has a vacuum line connected near the MAP sensor, you can spray cleaner directly into that line. This sends the cleaning solution straight into the intake manifold, where it can reach the sensor more directly. Some setups even have a PCV line or... breather hose nearby that pulls air into the same part of the manifold, and those can work too. To do this, you simply disconnect the vacuum hose while the engine is idling, and spray short bursts of cleaner into the hose while keeping the engine running. The suction from the intake pulls the cleaner in and distributes it through the system, including across the face of the MAP sensor. Just like before, you want to keep the sprays short and spaced out to avoid stalling the engine. After you're done, Reconnect the hose and give the engine a few minutes to settle. Then, take the car out for a drive to help finish the cleaning process. This method is especially helpful if the MAP sensor is placed deep in the manifold or in a hard-to-reach location. It's also effective for cleaning buildup that a general intake spray might not reach. And just like the first method, it costs next to nothing and takes very little time to complete. Signs your MAP sensor might be dirty. Now. How do you know your MAP sensor needs cleaning in the first place? Some of the most common signs include rough idling,
sluggish acceleration, poor fuel economy, or a drop in overall engine performance. You might also notice your car hesitating when you press the gas or stalling when coming to a stop. In more advanced cases, the check engine light may come on, and a scan tool could show codes related to air-slash-fuel ratio or manifold pressure. These are all signs that the sensor might not be reading accurately, often due to contamination. Over time, oil vapors from the PCV system and fuel residue from the intake can coat the MAP sensor. Even something as simple as dusty air getting past a dirty air filter can leave residue on the sensor's surface. That residue interferes with the sensor's ability to send proper readings, which messes with the ECU's fuel calculations. And that's where the poor fuel economy comes in. Why this works without removing the sensor? You might be wondering, how can cleaning without removal actually work? Isn't the sensor sealed inside the housing? The truth is, in most cars, the MAP sensor is exposed directly to intake air, so anything that goes through the intake manifold will touch the sensor. That's why spray cleaners work so well. They ride along with the airflow and contact the sensor surface naturally. It's not as deep a clean as removing it and wiping it manually, but it's more than enough to clear away most residue and restore proper function. And let's be real, removing sensors can be a pain. You risk breaking clips, stripping bolts, or damaging connectors. Not to mention, in some newer engines, the MAP sensor is buried behind engine covers or intake pipes. So why bother, if a quick spray can do the job just as well? Gear, when should you clean your MAP sensor? Cleaning your MAP sensor doesn't need to be a weekly thing, but doing it as part of regular maintenance can prevent a lot of headaches down the line. If you're doing an oil change, replacing your air filter, or noticing your MPG slipping, it's a great time to give your intake system and sensors a quick clean. For most vehicles, Cleaning the MAP sensor every 10,000 to 15,000 miles is enough to keep it running clean and accurate. This is especially important if you live in a dusty area, do a lot of stop-and-go driving, or own a turbocharged vehicle since all those factors increase the chance of residue building up in your intake system. Use the right cleaner. One quick warning don't use just any spray cleaner. Never use carb cleaner, brake cleaner, or WD-40. Those are way too harsh and can damage the delicate electronic components inside the MAP sensor. Always choose a product labeled specifically as MAP Sensor Cleaner, Mass Air Flow Sensor Cleaner, or Intake System Cleaner. These are designed to evaporate quickly and leave no residue, which is exactly what your sensor needs.